Alright guys, so peep this. I'm going to be doing a demo review for the player Quantum uh, over in India right now. So this is the only way we're actually going to be able to get much communication or actually me able to assist very much with the clinic side of this. Um, he sent me a demo. We're just going to review it, see what I can see, whether like he individually what he's doing, right and wrong, and where he could improve, what bad habits he has right now, and what he needs to break. But I, other than that, we're just going to watch the demo, get a hold of everything, and I want us to see like exactly what he's doing. And I'll upload this to YouTube, so that way he can view it, or anybody else can view it to hear what kind of style of criticism and actual breakdown I'm going to do player-wise. This is going to be player-specific. This isn't going to be oriented around the team like I did with uh, my European player over there. So just pay, please bear with me that I'm not going to be really critiquing their money situation as much as I am going to be critiquing his choices. Alright? So thank you kindly. And here we go. <coughs> it's on Dust 2, so I mean, as you guys know, this is very cut and dry map. There's nothing really special about it. So. Uh, oh, you weren't blind. You're a little slow on the reaction there. I use utilize some automatic and everything and and be a little bit more out there on the pre fires. I see that was a nice long range, don't burst. Long range, don't burst. That was nice, not bad. Come on, come on, come on, follow me, follow me, baby. Follow me. Let's rape this motherfucker and you ask. Plant it for cat, plant it for cat, right here. This is cats. Where you plant it for cat? You're playing with 250 ping too, so now I can understand why your stuff is a little slower. So it's not a big deal. <laughs> Around the world. Uh, let's do a let's, let's, let's smoke mid and go. Hmm. The dude has to push cat, so be prepared. <clears throat> All right. You already had a homeboy throw a smoke down there, so you didn't necessarily need to throw another one. You could have saved 300 right there. Mid, I mean short. Alright, you hear that guy long A, so you should be looking towards that. Your homeboy's already got your ramp. You should be looking at long A. Screw can't screw screw CT spawn. You don't really need to worry about that. They have to come to you on that situation. Just like that guy, he had to run all the way around to catch you. You could have been t battling that guy long A first and actually taking him down ahead of time. This kid's got a fucking P90 already. He gets P90. <clears throat> Alright, now let's buy P90s and let's push middle. From, uh, from low. <laughs> you uh, I'm flashing over for. Ooh, low 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 What's your lower, lower like view right now? Hello, B. That's not even cool. Alright, you just got. You just saw that nade, that should have did some damage, but you gotta remember, if your homeboys haven't gone to check that, you should have gone down there and checked it with them. You guys are taking lower B. <coughs> Alright, let's work picks. Work picks. Alright, you bought a deagle on a buy round. Typically, fourth round is buy round, so keep this in mind. Your money management should be allotted right around this, alright? Like, you shouldn't be throwing a lot of money away. You should have at least 45 as a rifler by this round. Oh, indeed. Actually, I didn't even see anybody cross, really. Uh oh. I'm working with the deal, though. Sorry, you're right behind you. Ow. Did not notice, goddammit. He was, like, right next to me. I was like, what? <laughs> Alright. Should have saved that nade a little bit more. Your homeboy was right there at the door. You could have utilized that and, like uh, deeper next time. Good eco nonetheless, I will say that. Terrorists 
Alright, that's cool. I'll get a large one. But here's the thing, you don't need to be looking cool. around when you guys have identified that he is Tunnels. And if he's going to run all the way back through tunnels to back towards middle, you will hear him booking it. He's not going to be able to walk. There's he not enough time for him to uh, kill you two so and if he's the bomb. Uh, you heard the lower call. You shouldn't have been just ganging him into a B. You should have taken it off and fell back. Not to mention, save those flashes. If there's a guy lower B, contest with him. Work it with the, work it with a smoke. Have your other teammate throw a smoke in for you, or have an opera pick first before you just barrel into B. I'm on cat. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, do you watch out? Uh, oh fuck's sake, bomb cat. What? <laughs> what? It's like alien or something. He just jumped out. That's a war for now. You threw the flash late. Oh, shit, you blinded me. your teammate as long as, as well as the other guy. Yeah, baby. Daddy likes it like that. Fucking riser baited me so bad. What the fuck? We he does a second at kills. Fucking baited me so hard. He's the master baiter. He's not even cool, dude. It's a little cool. I need to think you need to fuck. See again, you threw another flashbang that anyway. kind of eighth blind, the quarter blind is your teammate. Long it, long it. I'm lady, lady. You know you kid, yay! Alright, you gotta pay attention. Get that bomb. Get that bomb and plant. Alright, yeah, you're fooling around too much. Like, be aware of your surroundings. Like, if you know that your bomb just got down, be that guy that tries to pick it up. If one of your teammates does it, that's, that's, that's great, but be the guy that tries to pick up the bomb. That's your ultimate goal on an eco round. Good shot, good shot. You're both kind of blind, so that was pretty solid. The only thing I'm going to say is, you guys are broadcasting a lot. You're rushing. You're buying deagles every round. You're going to have to deal with the fact that you can glock. You can glock sometimes. You probably need to because it'll actually allow you to, one, buy an AK or an op at one point. And so far, your money management has been piss poor in my opinion. Like you've been buying nades, deagles every round. Uh, who knows if you're buying armor. I and mean, if you're buying armor on top of that, you're basically, instead of the typical one, maybe two saves maximum that you should have ever, you're forcing yourself to have to save every round eff effectively. You can never buy a real gun. One, three. And you're broadcasting it. And these smokes three. that you're throwing over B right now, you guys are basically broadcasting like, hey, the majority of us are outside of B, because you're always going together. You and the, your team, uh, your group of players right here, need to split up. Let's go along, guys. Or maybe Cat. Right, so that nade basically said, hey, there's a guy pit. So, I mean, if you weren't communicating that, or your teammate didn't communicate that, which he didn't, that's an issue. So here's the cross. Alright. That that's 
Fine. Your teammate got the trade. Your, your life wasn't worthless. Time for life, Ken. Dead. Oh, nice shot, nice shot. Nice wall bearing. He's uh, around. He's side, flat. There's an orb on top of the thing. Oh, you see that raging bro guy? That was a dumb nade. He should have been banking it off the wall behind the site. So, oh, if you ever get to that situation, throw it off the back of the site, into the, and it banks off into the site and it does damage. Almost anybody's going to be hiding behind those boxes in that area. I just bought a fucking long gun, my Alright, nice. You bought a SIG. I ain't... or a Krieg. I ain't... not always my first choice, and it's not the best choice because it's not a one-hit KO, like the AK is. And it costs a thousand dollars more. That smoke you just threw, nice. though, I, it doesn't really help you as much as it helps the CT. It funnels you guys because you're already in a choke point that CTs are expecting you to come into. So the only thing you're really doing is just providing them with a little bit more cover. And if they wanted to, they could aggressively throw a flash and push through. Hi. There's another thing. Don't zoom in. The Krieg almost never need like it never really needs yeah, to be zoomed in. The firing rate changes, and it, it, it'll do you no real good, uh, especially at those close quarters. I mean, it, it would be silly. Like there's a reason why you don't let ops lead the charge on on the chat. You let rifles because the firing rate, the damage. Watch your guy short. Hey, hey. Go long, go long now, go long now. Let's go. Bomb has been planted. Where was he? Uh -huh. He's cat. Team fall back. He's coming. Don't peek him, don't peek him, I'll tell you when he's defusing. He's defusing now. Terrorists win. I'm sure do that. Six six show him. Alright. Uh. Sorry, I had to look away for a half a second, so I wasn't really paying attention to that little clutch there. <clears throat> I'm glad to see you had more. You have more of a standard gun. You threw a wasted smoke right there. That's not going to do you any good. All that does is provide the CT with more cover that he wants to, to go check out lower B. Because he and his teammate were pinching. Yeah, Alright? Decent shot. Alright, right, good shot, good shot. It seems like you have a really low sensitivity, so I mean, I'm, I'm also one of those low sensitivity players. I'll, I'll just simply say though, is if you're typically a rifle, you might want to go a little higher, but I mean, that's just my recommendation. It's not something that you have to take for Bible. And if you're watching, if you're supposed to be the one watching Long A, you gotta watch it up close to get as many people as you can in that choke point. And if you're gonna throw smokes from spawn, rebuy smokes if the 15 seconds hasn't gone up. Take it. Coming up. Bomb mid, bomb mid. Bomb mid. Roger that. Fire in the hat. Like B. Can we take off? Oh, boy. There you go. 
And I'm not sure whether it's a combination of the lag and the, the source TV or anything like that. Seems like your reactions are there. I, and I can't accurately say because fake, of the fake, uh, 250 ping that you've me. got. So, <clears throat> which typically means it's about 270. Yeah, I'm pushing no, I'm pushing B. You're doing right though. Every time you rush into the site on your blind, I'm glad to see that you're actually running towards big box. You're not just stopping and blocking the herd. That's what you're doing right. Alright. My only complaint so far has been your reaction time to people shooting at you. Like, was that nice? Like you were getting shot at by the guy at tunnels, mm -hmm. and maybe you were just a little fl like, like flustered. I mean, you had no idea maybe where he was, and you were just killed two guys. Uh, okay. But either way, two seconds left. You already show him. And I'm gonna kill. Tunnels. Yeah, where is that? Alright, as a rifler, you should be watching either the B push or the lower B push. You, you can't just fade back while your opera's extending himself. <clears throat> There's an op lower B now. They keep flushing it. Alright, good shot. One more. Nice oh, shot again. Do you see what I mean? Alright, I'm gonna pick long. Alright, we can just rush long, actually. Yeah. Alright, you're burning your flashes too fast. Space them out further apart. Because when you throw flashes on top of each other, they actually reset the flash scale of how flash your opponent will be, whoever gets affected by it. So if you threw a really good one at first, you throw a second one a little bit after that and it does a half flash, it overwrites it. So I mean, you're really doing yourself no good, you're burning $200. You need to be able to say, like, space them out further apart. Not to mention, if you already have teammates throwing flashbangs, you don't need to throw that many flashbangs. You should save one. And that's another thing. You, you burn your nades too fast, in general. Wait, identify where the last guy is first, and then use your nade as an as a Where's an actual there? defense. You have the bomb planted. That's what you have to defend. Oh, that's weird. I didn't see it. <laughs> the thing is, Z blocks now, and you could uh, turn the illegal defeat. Whoa. <coughs> Do you remember that shit? Fuck. Alright. I'm B2. I'll be mid. Alright, so you're playing cat. Passive. So I see you guys playing a 2 1 2 basically. Cat. Right. Cat and mid. Big ball. One long. Alright, so back. you're. B forget battling the guys on cat. Start focusing on that guy long. He just fragged your teammate a second ago. You should have enough time to shoot a couple more at Cat, reload, and then look towards long to at least... Because you have cover from Cat if you just mosey down the ramp a little bit. Don't have to worry about them. You can play it by ear. If they're really rushing you down, you could turn to kill them. And then turn right back around to long A if you hadn't killed him yet. Point is, you want to survive as long as possible to do as much damage as possible. But mostly, your, your first priority is to prevent the terrorists from planting that bomb. They can't plant if you're still that live at that ramp. There's nothing they can do about it. They can't plant the bomb. That's your first priority. Same shit. I will say this too. 
I so second round I typically do not tell people to buy deagles, alright, on their eco. I use spotted the guy cat as well. I typically oh I what I'll typically say is this. I typically tell people to wait till fourth till third round to buy a deagle if you still lose that round beforehand, uh the second round. Mainly because it's a higher chance. it's a higher likely chance that if you guys kill somebody on the second round they'll upgrade early to Galils or defenders and, or AKs. And if you have that deagle, it's a one hit kill. You now have a free gun that you can potentially win the round with and save yourself some money for the very next round. You money screw them because of that. So you want to use a USP the second round and maybe buy a nade or a kit. All right? It gives it gives you a better money situation as well, come gun round, on the fourth round. Alright. Your positioning there, CT spawn, not sure, I'm assuming you were busy with something like that. I I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me. But if you were to be playing the CT spawn, don't run into that corner. Crossfire with your teammate that was already in that corner. And you're not going to do him any favors by running into him and everything like that. Even if you were asking him, hey, boost me. Y you don't want to try boosting somebody at the same spot if they've already identified where you are. Go, go, go. I'm B. Okay, let's go. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Just uh, hold A by myself. I'm coming. Alright, if you've got a nade, you should have used it already. Alright, good shot. Better positioning, I like that. Uh, you guys now have a 2v1 situation. You should be communicating with your teammates, say, hey, yeah, stay at A, and you should have fell back into the site. Mainly because you want to survive as long as possible. Like I said before, they can't plant the bomb if you're in the site. And you want to survive as long yeah, as possible. Alright? You extending like that, you now force the 1 versus 1 rather than a 2 versus 1. Alright? You could have stayed in the bomb site, like just kind of like safely got it guarded in the back of the site, being able to spot tunnels, but also able to hear and protect yourself from middle by being able to react to them having to come in at different angles. That would have been your better choice. It's going to be fucking a contemplative Alright, this 3 B set up, not that great. Should have been run, you guys should be do running away. Somebody needed to watch middle. I'm not entirely sure what you're doing hopping around right now. You just you're burning cycles that you don't need to. One long. All right. You heard your homeboy said that was one long. You should have been paying attention to palm tree. Like that. You could have gone that guy a little faster. Here's something I'm going to say. If you're going to jump across middle, just look well, up towards middle at least if you can. You're able to make a communication to say, hey, if you have a teammate that's opping middle, counterpicking, while you jump across, you're at least able to communicate the position of their opper. Be like, hey, he's top left, top right, uh, he's bottom, or uh, he's dropped, runway, on the boxes. Just any sort of thing that really makes your opper's positioning when he jumps into the line of sight, his cross is closer. Well, Alright, good flank on the cat after the bomb was called and everything, it was spotted, so, solid choice. This will save for like a couple of rounds and then uh. get all those snipers and just auto at each other. And then be like, oh man, we fucking auto each other. Like I said, this looks like the first round you've actually been able to buy. Which is we pathetic. This is the seventh easy. round. You should have been. Oh you should have bought on the fourth round and the sixth round. Is that there in BRD? Uh, there's 
They're going Whoa. Alright. That's a weak flash. Alright? And you didn't follow it properly. Bank it higher off and make sure it banks around the lip of the actual wall so you're able to hug the wall and strafe out just as it blooms. That way you can actually use the full effectiveness of the nade. It's none of the blind time, however long it is. They might only get an eighth blind, quarter blind, half blind. And that way there's no chance that they could one dig you as you come in because you came in a little late. Getting carried by uh Are you through that flash a little late? Uh, you're in a position where they're about to nade you, yeah. I'm coming around to respond. Are you spotted the guy middle? You should have been. Wow, you shouldn't just be running around outside the site. I mean, the best thing you could do is kick it around that box, or have dropped and hugged that corner. Always have cover. Make sure, you're, and you're reloading. And mo keep that in mind. So, I mean, you should never be exposed while you're reloading. Simple rule. Not sure. Shit done. We should probably save for like a round or two. Uh, yeah. yeah. And here you go again. You bought deagles and nades every round. That's yeah. not an eco round, all right. That's not saving anything. You're spending way okay, too much money. Okay? It's like when you win a round, all right. You now reset, all right. You now reset the amount of money you'll get each round, all right. Because when you lose four rounds consecutively, all right, each round you get additional bonus money. And so, when you lose like three or four rounds in a row, you shouldn't be buying deagle, nade, nade, armor, <laughs> kit. I mean, you should be buying maximum deagle kit, or anything, I mean, maybe a nade deagle, or just interchanging it. You should never be spending more than 950, ever. And that's being, that's saying like you're the rich guy of the, team, of the eco rounds. Because some people are going to have as low as 17 or 15, yeah. like 1500 Why I mean, while the other people are going to have going anywhere from 25, 35, 4000, 6000, I mean it doesn't matter. You want to save as a team, that way you can buy as a team. Next I would have to say is, that's another little, print, little rule you can use, you can be like, hey, if do I have 35 or above, and do I rifle? If you rifle and you have 35 and above, I would say it's acceptable that you can buy up a deagle, but if but if you're opting and you have 35, you shouldn't be buying a deagle. You're gonna barely have enough for an op the next round, um, and you need to make sure you have head, uh, at least something. On CT side, head armor is not no nearly as important as it is against uh, against the CT. <laughs> that came around my face, this isn't 3D. Wrong. Fire in the hat! <laughs> squad. Fire in the hat! Enemy spotted! Did you sound? Mmm. Fire in the hat! Oh, you spawn. CT spawn. Take me the first time, motherfucker. Alright, where Maverick is right now, he needs to pick his battle. If he knows that the guy in sight isn't gonna push him, he needs to pick his battle at the guy outside of B first, so he can actually, uh, like, progress towards the site. He's not just kicking it outside of NCT spawn. Like, look, this guy's not gonna peek for another two seconds. He even has a flashbang, so he didn't have to. He just now burnt a bunch of time from the bomb, puts pressure on Maverick, and that guy got a he got a max ten him in the head, completely exposed. I mean, it's ridiculous. That's so stupid. Okay, let's go. Low motherfucker thinks like the cost of a weapon makes it better. Fire in the hat. Are they long? Long, long. Hey, 
Alright, you saw your, your middle guy died, so you need to be picking that up. You or your teammate needs to be picking that up. And actively, not just sitting in the back of sight like that. And you were in an exposed position. <laughs> so, I mean, oh now you know. If your homeboy's not pushing B-tunnels, or you're not, like, or somebody's not pushing B-tunnels completely, okay, let's, uh, let's just or you're let's not covering middle, one, you guys are going to get pinched easier that way. Lower. Yeah, your sensitivity is much too far too low. I totally stole that. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, your sensitivity yeah. could go up <laughs> easily 0. 0.5 from what I can, can see. Oh no, it's a low bomb. Oh, no, it's a bomb. Alright, now you see these two guys, they're coming in in a two versus three situation. Oh, not sure how many of them have nades. Mavericks just got an early pick, easy. Naded though. Now they can come in together. All right, closet, easy. Easily should have known that that was closet. Keep him busy. How much did you shoot him? And look at that positioning of where the bomb is. He could have just slid behind the site. That guy would have assumed that he was yeah, diffusing, bullshit. forced him out of his cubby hole. Oh, All right, that would have forced him out of his like his covered okay, position, and make and make the clutch a lot easier. <laughs> See that th that flash that you just threw? That's the one you need to follow up with. Hug the left wall. You could just p burst in there and explode on the guys and be tunnels that are blind, or turning their back to it. <laughs> and don't don't throw nades like that on cat. You're you're don't being the sneak. You're the flanker. <laughs> all right. You want to catch them off guard with something that's gonna kill them. Nade will not kill them unless you get a call that they are damaged. All right. Hades has an AK in front of him. A one versus one. You need to use it. It's much easier to win in a one versus one. See, look at the position he's in now. Like this guy, if he went into the corner with an AK, he would have had a much better chance than a deagle. Alright, so 1v1s in those kind of scenarios, definitely endorse picking up the AK. You could spam a lot more, it puts more pressure on the opera, on the, uh, the defender, I should say, to actually hit his shot and he'll get shook, he'll get scared. Okay. That's another thing you don't want to say. Don't tell him you have an AFK at the beginning of the round. Tell him after you die. Like, after, like towards the end of the round, once it becomes noticeable that he's not going to come back. They know that there's an AFK, they're going to just blitz on the site. Alright, not bad. 250 ping spray, not bad. Oh, that was Hades. Sorry about that. I just realized I was still specking him. So yeah, the last round basically was ridiculously on all about Hades, so you can disregard that as well. Oh, Hades. You don't want to shoot the barrel over. You want to keep that barrel as high as possible to potentially keep you covered. If you're going to be playing that passive with a Colt, well, double up with your homeboy at long at the beginning of rounds, alright? I mean, let's be honest, I mean, you could hold it together long at a crossfire when they're chasing him at pit. See, like your buddy's trying to do right now, he was trying to assist him, but he got there late. You could have been there early enough to actually assist. Hit somebody. Are they coming to respond in one more? Maybe two. Alright, good job. You gotta react, see, now that you saw that your homeboy just died on ramp. Only there. On CT, CT crossing, I would say. You're smoked out. You should have been holding this cuff brick.
Alright, Maverick silly for walking that. I mean, really does no good. There's only really two ways that he could be coming from. Alright. Alright, so long story short, dude, is you should have done a lot of things. Like I said, I mean, I did biff a couple of times on the spectating, but either way, a lot of that is stuff you need to work on. Break the bad habit of buying a deagle every round. I understand how powerful it is, but it's not going to win you anything. It, it's really, all it's doing is it's setting you back. I don't know if that was a mix, as you guys would put it over there on that side of the pond, but point is, you can't do that. To improve... You need to be playing almost every time that it's a it's a serious situation. You want to be able to understand it's like you need to understand your money situation. You need to realize that you should never really be saving more than two rounds in a row. I mean, getting counter ecoed that makes a little sense, but the fact is you're only buying deagles and armor and nades every round that I see. So let's be real, you're never on a save. You're on a force buy. That's called a force buy or a half buy. Because what that means is, while your teammates have guns, you are lacking in a primary weapon. That's the biggest thing you need to focus on, is just your economy. Your shot was fine. I do recommend that if you're going to rifle as much as you do, or deagle as much as you do, as I should say, is you need to up your sensitivity a little bit. Because, like, you're, you're literally, I can, I can already envision that you're spinning your mouse, like, hardcore like this, constantly trying to work this game. You need to up it a little bit, find a sensitivity that works for you, all right? I do recommend, like, how to find your shot to some people. Like, I would say, up your sensitivity, like, at a higher than what you would actually want to play with, and then come back down after you've played with it in deathmatch for a while, because that way, you're at least forcing your body, you're trying to force your muscle memory to learn how to control something like that, and then once you bring it back down by re in relation to what it was before... It, was, it actually seems slow still. And it seems cool and confident kind of shot. I mean, yeah. And I mean, if you're going to be playing with 270 ping all the time, there's not much I could really say. I mean, y you guys got to figure this thing out. I mean, wherever you're going to play, I mean, I don't see why you're playing with 250 ping. Maybe it was just a bad day at your house. But with 250 ping, you do yourself no favors. I, you might as well just go muscle memory, aim map, or something like that play against bots. Uh, watch demos, review streams of other players that are actually, like, really good and up there. I mean, there's a lot of pro players. Like, if you look at ESEA's website, their ESEA news section, is they have pro player streams that actually have, like, the top best in the world. Something like, I mean, you've got, like, the 3D Max Cats, you've got the Dynamic Series over here. Those are two North American teams that I would actually say they're worth watching. Then you've got players that are on in Europe that are, I believe are trying to get into involved in this. I mean, you've got your own set of superstars on that side of the, the world, all right? So, I mean, honestly, I'm sure they have their own streams, just like all the StarCraft II players have their own streams over there. I mean, I'm sure you could find some Source players that have their own streams. Watch them. Learn from them. Like, if they have team practices, especially if they have team practices, because you really could benefit from being actually to hear how a, um, a weathered and experienced team, an experienced set of players, plays together, how they talk to each other. They just the All the points that I pointed, everything that I pointed out to you, you'll see that they don't actually have to communicate that, really. All they do is they just type their money, and they already know the scenario. If, two to three, if uh, three people have like low money, and two people have just enough to buy, it's a safe. If two people have an exp like a serious amount of money, and three people and two people or three people have uh, a one person can buy and a two more need drops, they'll buy up too. It's just a simple understanding of how the money management works and the bare minimum of what they actually need to buy. Like on CT side, you don't really need that much. CT side, I mean, an AK is a one hit headshot, so you buying head armor is pretty much useless unless it's an an eco round that you you predict that they're going to have an eco round then it's it actually makes a point because if they have glocks you're not going to die that easy you'll you'll go down fighting you'll easily get two to three as opposed to just uh, like one ak and then you get pissed off that you just spent a thousand dollars 
that you could put towards something else. Like you could have bought nades, you could have bought kit, you could have bought anything. You could have bought yourself a deagle one, two flat, uh, flash and a kit. You could buy yourself a bunch of different stuff and just saving money where you can. Always scrapping, always penny pinching is something I need to, like people need to just learn and actually apply everywhere they play. Alright? Alright, other than that, I saw that your shot was fine. But the thing I was, I was afraid of, like I said, your sensitivity doesn't seem like it's your own. Doesn't seem like it's natural to you. you Pulling 260 ping, source TV demo, it's really hard to accurately adjust, uh, like, to accurately say anything about that. And my recommendation is next time record a POV, like uh, just record in console and everything like that, record that, and then review it, alright? I could probably review it another time. It's not a big deal, but that's all I have really to say about this, and this is my first demo breakdown with anybody yet. Oh, actually, this is my th my fourth, really. This is the first video, so uh, I hope this goes and helps other people as well. For, I mean, hopefully this helps you. So you have a good night. Take care.